Hello everyone and Happy New Year! Today, I want to share on how to create a measure on Power BI to calculate total sales in current quarter versus previous quarter. First thing first, make sure that you have imported your data. For this example, I have imported a sales data from my CSV file. As you can see, I have another two tables called calendar table and a measure table. So a calendar table consists of a date value from the start of the sales date, which in this example is from 1st of January 2023 until end of December 2023. A measure table is a table I created to help me organize and group all of my measures in it. Now, let us start by creating a current quarter measure called Sales Current Quarter. In this measure, we'll be using five text functions, which are max, date add, start of quarter, end of quarter, and dates between. I won't go into details on the definition of each of these functions as they are available on learn.microsoft. Beforehand, in the measure table, I've created a total measure that calculates the sum of total value from the sales data table. So this will represent the sales value. Now, in this measure, let us define two variables. One that is called start of CQ, and the other one is called end of CQ. Now, these two variables will show the date value of the latest quarter available from the calendar table. The difference between these two are start of CQ will show the start of quarter, whilst the end of CQ will show the end of quarter. We can do this by writing Now let us repeat this function for end of CQ but we will replace start of quarter to end of quarter. To end the variable, we, re we will write return and then we will do the calculation to calculate the total value between the start of the current quarter and end of quarter. Now, by doing this, we won't understand what this variable shows. To understand this variable, I create a separate measure to show you what's the value we will get from these two variables. Now, since our date starts from 1st of January 2023 and ends on 31st December 2023, this is the correct representation of the latest quarter available from the calendar table. So when we are doing our sales current quarter, what it means is it will give the calculation of the total between this date and this date. Now let us create another measure for the previous quarter and name it as sales previous quarter. In this measure, we will be using the same five tax functions as current quarter. The only part that is different will be this part. Instead of zero, we will replace it with minus one. Minus one will represent the previous one quarter. We can do it minus two if you want previous two quarters and three for previous three quarters, so on and so forth. Now, let us try to understand this variable by creating a separate measure like what we did previously. Now, this calculation means that we are calculating the total measure between this date and this date. Now that we have created these two new measures, let us check if our outputs are correct or not. I've added a month year slicer and the measures as a card. 
beforehand, I've also blocked the interaction between this slicer with all the cards except the total card. Let us check the current quarter by selecting October 2023 until December. As we can see, the number tallies between these two cards. Now, let us check the previous quarter by selecting July until September. The number tallies between these two cards. This means our outputs are correct. You can repeat the same steps for current month versus previous month and current year versus previous year. If you want me to cover the current month and the current year in a separate video, do let me know in the comments below. And that's all from me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my video, do not forget to subscribe. I will be posting more soon.